All right, guys. Hey, welcome back. This is going to be part 10 of the Let's Play Europa Universalis 4 series as Brandenburg. Uh, in the last little, in the last episode, we got our butts kicked a little bit, helping Muscovy fight Lithuania. So we were at war with Lithuania, Poland, Denmark. Um, and then we got called into one with France, and everything was terrible. But uh, now we're kind of chilling out, trying to recover. I'm going to start rebuilding some men. Um, I guess we need lots and lots of them. <laughs> Uh, I think this is the nice thing about having built armories everywhere. It makes things a little bit cheaper. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Oh, we can build one more. Let's go seven. Well, we are bringing in uh, three, three, 333 men a month uh, in manpower, so every three months we can build a guy. Uh, so it's four a year, so we should be doing, we should be okay. Get back up. We have five years, so 20, 20 men generally. Should be more than doable. And as we start replenishing our own men, we'll start dropping off the mercenaries. But maybe not until the next round of stuff. Are we over our force limit? Not yet. Let's group up. And I, actually, I'm going to break off the mercenaries, and I'm going to put them over here. So we got 10-3-3 here. Good. Okay, cool. So yeah, we're just going to chill out and try to not die for a little while. Uh, Holstein will take vassalization in a little while. We can go another 25. That'll get us close. Uh, actually, that's not going to get us close enough. Border friction, neighboring heretic religion's a big deal. Enemy of enemies is good. We'll uh, send them some money and see if we can't get up a little bit higher in the relations. Uh, let's see, England, strive for a tolerant society. We have not gotten the religious disorder event yet. I'm sure we will very soon. Uh, we are the carrier controller. I feel like I should probably excommunicate someone. It's unfortunate, I want to do, like, Denmark or Lithuania. But Lithuania has pretty decent, uh, relations with the Pope. Very dispute against Bohemia, that's gonna happen soon. Idea? What idea? Uh, last Diplo idea. Yeah, we're gonna take this. Boom, boom, boom. We got unjust demands, and we also got, um, lowered impact of stability from diplomatic reac uh, things. So if we break a royal marriage, I don't think it drops our stability down. So that's done now. We can start catching up on Diplo tech, which we are woefully behind on. Hey, three points. That's awesome. Uh, 3,000 manpower. Let's build, uh, let's build two of these guys. And a cannon, please. Good. We have a 33 uh, force limit, so this will bring us up to our top, and then after the next round of building, we'll start dropping off a few of the uh, mercenaries. I just want to remain at peace for a while. We got our butts kicked in that war. Oh, to Lübeck. Hans says accepted religious unity with Austria, so they're Catholic now. Cranking up imperial authority. How many people are voting for this, does it say? 24 for the reform, 12 princes against the reform. So I don't know how much uh, imperial authority he needs to pass that. That would give uh, another diplomat and diplomatic rep and lower revolt risk. I'm not super worried about revolt risk, so I'm not going to do anything to help him. Become emperor. That's very unlikely. As we have no one voting for us. Well, we have Trier voting for us, but that's not enough. Uh, Livonian order. Tolerant society. Cool. Yeah, they're the one. They are the ones that went uh, Protestant first. Well, they had the first pro bit of Protestant Reformation. Yeah, Bohemia is already Protestant. They go pretty quickly. All right, so Holstein, 145. We get up to 170 with a gift, and then we could offer military access, proclaim a guarantee. Yeah, those are things that we can do. Claim a guarantee, 55, 80. Offer them access, and then we'll send them a gift, and that should be just enough to get us there. Come on, 19th. And money. Just get us to 190. Jeez.
There we go. 190 exactly. So we should be able to vassalize them on the next, uh, on the 24th of April. That'll be good. Come on, you can do it. Awesome. Cool, so got them in before we get the, these other guys annexed, so that should be good. Cool, that is super good. Now we can go ahead and cancel the guarantee. Well, we don't really need to. Same difference. I don't think it's costing us any money to um, do whatever we're doing with them, is it? Gallery is now Catholic again. Our mercenaries are costing us a bunch of money. So we can build four more guys. Let's go over here. So we're at um, 12, 3, 4. So we'll build uh, three more infantry and another cannon. Two, three, and cannon. And then we can fire four of these mercenaries. Boom. Try to stay below our force limit. Gallery, end of religious turmoil, because they are now Catholic again. <laughs> We haven't gotten a flip on a province in quite a while. I think Austria is pretty close to um, passing that next thing. We are improving relations in Rome. Almost done there. And we're integrating those two vassals. And we should probably just keep improving relations with Holstein so they stay above 190. Four more guys, up to here we go. Getting back to our cap. Having five years of peace to rebuild is fairly nice. So we're learning about more stuff, mostly in Brazil. It's almost entirely in Brazil. What are you guys? Crete. Oh, Crete's doing all right for themselves. Naples has a bit of the Ottoman territory. Let's, uh, what are the, let's see what the wars going on look like. Time keep running for now. Current wars. Hungarian conquest of Ruthenia. Not going... Well, it's going okay for them. Well, they got a lot of enemies in that one. That's the only real European one. Uh, papal conquest of Treviso. <clears throat> Aragon should be getting inherited by Castile fairly soon. 13% chance to inherit. And 13% chance to inherit Naples. If Castile takes both of those, it's going to be ugly. Um, yeah, we should still be nice and far ahead here, right? Yeah, nine years ahead. So next idea here. Get leader fire. That's awesome. Next time we get a leader, he's going to get extra fire to whatever is rolled on his creation. This uh, Altmark Protestant. Cool. These ones, I need... What I need is the expensive ones. Like, I already got Lubeck, which is super nice. Oh, what's this? And innovative. Are we ahead here still? We are ahead there still. Sweet. This is going to give us less army tradition decay. Sweet. Cheaper mercenaries. So our army tradition should probably... Only 1.5 a year. That's not too bad. Still have a free leader if we want one, just from being papal controller. But once again, I don't like that idea. Uh, so no, what I really need is uh, basically Astaprison and Danzig to flip. And if those two flip, then then I could totally um, do what I need to do and become Protestant. Oh, what's this? Okay, so eradicate the heretics or lots of revolt. It's all the same stuff. We can lose this. Oh uh, God, I can take. I can take the regiment. Yeah. Well, the problem is, I don't know if this does anything between. Uh, if this does anything to the amount of uh, provinces that'll flip to the to Protestantism, if I like eradicate them, they could potentially just let them siege stuff. 
that make them flip me to Protestant themselves. But that would be very costly as far as manpower and money goes. And lose the stability, go down to zero. We're making a lot of money, so we could probably do that and then bump it up in the next go around. Uh oh, they were making six a month. It wouldn't take that long. Do that. All right. And there goes our revolt risk up. This is Brandenburg gets diplomatic insult on Bohemia. Or I can lose some prestige. Alright, fine. I am going to go to war with them at some point in the future because I hate them and they're annoying me. Make them return cores to Celestia. Alright, we're back up to... Oh, let's see. Yeah, we're not bringing in quite so many men anymore. Uh, so once again, let's do... One, two, three, and a cannon. We'll take uh, four of these guys. Down. I think Austria's about to enact that next reform. I don't know. I honestly don't know how much uh, imperial authority they need to do it. Eastern Caribbean. Yeah, I'm not playing with a randomized new world, as you may have guessed. Alright. Uh, so yeah, as soon as we get up to 90 admin power, we can boost our stability a smidge. About to integrate these two and completely piss off Austria. Being minus, uh, minus 50. Piss off Holstein by probably 150. Gonna suck. It'll be a long time before we can integrate Holstein. And we got another Cardinal. Jeez. Still only got three, though, so that's alright. Hey, free Diplo points. That's good. Okay. We'll wait until that cannon finishes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lithuania is a jerk. We're all aware. The whole scene with you guys. We already declared war on Bohemia. Neat. Let me, uh... Oh, nope, stay where you're at. Group up. We're six to six, including our royal marriage with Lithuania, which we need to end. Muscovy, we have our alliance. Austria, we have our alliance. Holstein is a vassal, and the other two are vassals as well. Oh, we might actually need to build any more guys. We're going to get these two and uh, be able to pick and choose what we keep out of them. Oh, there's an ice cream truck outside. And we can spend Papal Influence. Who's our biggest rival right now? It's Poland. They're not investing in anybody. Yep. What's this? Nope, none of that's happening anytime soon. Yeah, actually, we'll go ahead and stand these guys down. We're gonna be way over our force limit. Oh, jeez, I have all the cardinals. Oh, no. Okay. My guy died. And that's why. He got replaced. I just, you know, it was a one for one kind of thing. Alright. Oh. Yeah, so Holstein is now pretty mad at us. Alright, cool. Um, only minus 60. That's actually not that bad. Who wants to be friends? Livonian Order, huh? I feel like that's a really bad idea. Um, France? Do you still hate me? I have too many great power allies. Lithuania, stupid royal marriages. Basically just Muscovy and Austria. But uh, maybe we can now take our guys and start getting on halt to... Oh, they're... Okay, they're a vassal under Hesse. Can't do that. Do we have... Do we have Casas Belli against you guys? Oh, they're allied with Austria. Jeez. Uh, alright, we're just going to improve relations with people. 
you go there. We already got one guy in Holstein. We'll go over to Russia, top that off. And Hungary, I guess. So Lithuania still has a rival. Poland. Oh, Poland doesn't have a rival anymore. Let's um let's go make friends with them. Could potentially get Poland back on our side would be handy. And then we are where at on this. We are only three over, so let's uh you guys can all move up here. Then as soon as these guys, as soon as the month ticks, they should be able to walk up here and see what that's at. And you want some more cannons, so I'm going to keep the two horses, probably get rid of a few of the... So we've got 27. Yeah, we'll keep the horses, and we'll get rid of three, five, five infantry? 22. Yeah, that seems reasonable. All right, so we'll keep the horses, get rid of five infantry. And then we'll build two more cannons, and then we'll be groovy on that. Get in. 29. Good. Cool. So now we don't have to build any more men. And we can let our actual uh, manpower start going back up. Wow. Steal that guy away from Castile for a second. Come on. Flip Danzig and Osterperson. Those are going to be the difficult ones. Nice, we're back to full power. And almost enough to bump our stability up one. We still have both our guys, yep. And we're still making money, yep. All good. Though not that much money. Armies are expensive. We do have our... Do we not... Yeah, those guys are still protecting trade. What about our other fleet? Yep, they're still protecting trade. I don't know. I don't know. So, oh, it's almost. I feel like if I go to war against somebody, it's gonna have to be Bohemia to make them, make them feed cores back to Alessia and maybe give us Wittenberg. We don't have claims on anymore. All right, topped off with Muscovy. England is having Catholic Zealot issues, quite a bit of them, Scottish Nationalists as well. Okay, topped off with Austria, they're mad. I wonder, I don't really need the um, diplomatic reputation guy anymore, do I have a better relations over time guy available? I do, get him. Yeah, let's get him. And do we want an admin guy? I think we might. Revolt wrist down would be good. Missionary strength would be awesome. Now if we flip the Protestant, we could do the missionary strength guy. But right now we're going to do the revolt wrist guy. Um, we're going to be pretty low on money for a while, but we have a good stockpile. What's this? Advancement of Religious Act. Revolt wrist goes up. Missionary strength goes up. That's fine. Real or marriage with Bremen. I don't know why I would want that. Are oh, they here? Oh, could I vassalize these guys? Oh, yeah. Let's take that mission. Uh, oop. We'll vassalize these guys. Whoa, that was a whole bunch of stuff happening. Uh, Bremen wants an alliance. Totally. What do you want? Hmm, maybe. And Diplo, cool. Yep, take that. We're gonna get Dry Dock, Trade Depot, Trade Range. Cool. Holy crap. Uh, Edict of Tolerance proclaimed by Wilhelm Frederick is the one a short while back has proven to be nothing more than mere words. There have been several violent incidents and atrocities against religious minority groups since the declaration where Wilhelm Frederick I has taken a stand of complete ignorance. So this for oh. Yeah. Free stability. Beautiful. Anti-piracy act? That one is always good. Sweet. That was that was all good. And then we just need to improve relations with these guys. Awesome. 
Cool. Things are going well. Bible printed. What they may consider impossible, he managed to devise a method that allows him to build a press to print huge amounts of copies of the Holy Bible, allowing every Christian to have one and rendering many monks across the world jobless. Uh, he started with the Bible, but soon other books will be printed to spread enlightenment across the continent. The classics are rediscovered in Europe. The whole continent is going to change forever. 25 prestige. I was already pretty topped off, but that's still nice. Now, the problem is if I convert to Protestantism here, it's going to cost me restability. And I'll make a lot of money, though, and Chelmo will become Protestant, which would be nice. But I would like any Danzig and Asa person to convert. I'm going to wait for a while. My goal is that they will do it on their own. Wait, we are topped off on everything. We are still making five gold a month. That's very good. Things are going okay now. If we can just stay out of war for a little while, we should be gravy. Those early investments in buildings were really a, a handy thing to be able to do. We've been making a lot of money. Yeah, Muscovy is ginormous. And I am hungry. Oh, Castile inherited Aragon. They should they should form Spain any minute now. Uh, they're still two admin techs away from being able to do that. You guys have... What's your chance? 13% to be inherited. Ugh. Oh, at least Castile and France can fight each other. Castile shouldn't be an enemy of mine. We're far enough away from one another that our interests should not conflict. I want to become HR... Uh, you know, I want to make the HRE. Mm-hmm. What's this uh, revolt risk looking like? 3% religious, yeah. We'll see. I really want to convert. Last time in, when I'm in my personal game, I just let a uh, religious uprising win and take the country um, and flip me, which was pretty good. That way I didn't have to lose three stability. Discovering some North America stuff. Yep. Oh, quite a bit of stuff is being popping right now. Ooh, colonial range. That's not even a possibility for us. We might steal a colony from someone later. <laughs> that would be our only way of doing that. Got one free diplomat. Who should we improve relations with? Austria, Bremen, we're Holstein. Good, good, good. All that's fine. We need another ally. I wanted to. Like, France is still. Oh. Alright, Protestant zealots in Potsdam. So, let's just kind of see what happens with those guys. We're doing okay at the moment. Um. See what they take. Austria might come up and smack them. We're not going to fight them. We're going to see if we can let them be a little gamey here and convert religion for us. Oh god, if only, like, Austin person, if Danzig would go, I'd be fine. Everything else I can convert. Uh, Poland, do you want to be friends again? I would not take an alliance because we have too many great power allies. They're pretty close, though. Who are their enemies? Hungary, Denmark. I never did mark that. We've got Denmark, Lithuania, and the Hansa. I can probably get rid of the Hansa. They're pretty weak. Um, England and France. Do England. Hungary. Hungary would be a double, double bonus, wouldn't it? Nope. Bohemia. Crimea. I will see. That would definitely help out with Austria if I could get one of these guys to be a rival. I don't really think doing Hungary is the best idea, though. Alright, so we've topped off Holstein at 168. It's going to take a while. It's a good thing we have a good amount of time before we have to do anything with them. Uh, Trier, how would you like to like me better? Uh, 31... Eh, base tax, yes. Baden, missions with you as well, and check if there's anybody to excommunicate. Uh, we could. Oh, 
England's already Protestant, so that doesn't matter. Livonian Order. Sace. Palatinate. Savoy, Holstein. Sweden would be nice. Uh, Bohemia just barely can't. Whoa, 